This is a message to the Universal Bio Collective from the Great Nautiloid Council. We find your lack of faith disturbing. Since a long time. And now, infected organisms, you will die. Hi there and welcome back to the Snedai Knights. Snade Wars. Secrets of the Snedai system and uh We'll progress now. We'll declare a war. A great war to be declared. Onto the bio collective that are pathetic now in their fleet powers. The great plan that Queen Valentina has heard from the elders. The spiritual elders in the fields beyond will be set into motion. Murga, Safa, First Star, all of these systems seem worthy. And we'll humiliate them on top of that. Could invite some attackers. It seems no one is interested in that. Well, then that is done too. Let's confirm and let's go. Seeking to destroy one of us is seeking to destroy us all. The Universal Bio Collective now stands against the Empire of Nautilon's coming. And there we go. First tentacle of Nautilon will be set into motion. To Murga we go. To the unknown where no snail has went before. And also let's unite more transport fleets. We need some mergers, seriously. There we go. What will we find there? In the systems that are tainted by the bio collective that has threatened us for so long. Also, we'll build more ships now. More and more ships. Deep Spiral Prime. Yeah, let's go for. Actually, let's let's wait for more cruisers. It makes it more calculable. Our ethics may change, actually. Yes, we are a little bit more militarist right now. A great fleet is moving. Maybe not just that great fleet, but it's great enough. Come on. Gary is leading the fleet. A snail with enough evasion to to flee uh, to to attack everyone very very quickly let's hope we can defeat their Research. stations galactic bureaucracy also we get that now in times of war we get a technology for even more peace multiple administrative strata efficiently surface only the most vital information to the upper levels of government giving us one more core sector system and now what now a centralized command maybe that seems the right thing to go for in this this time and age yes let's go centralized command
Oh, 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 we have a psychic here. Would be interested. And we have another scientist here with military theory. Would be interested, but nah, we want to train them first. But 43 is an acceptable age. 44 as well. So we'll recruit both of them, actually. 29 and field manipulator. There we go. You'll get your ships too. <laughs> to support, um, we don't know what yet. But you will support something. Set at border prime maybe. Yes, let's build a science ship there. We also have to upgrade the science ship, so in times of war, prepare for peace. Clear the design, autocomplete the ship, save that and uh, build one here. Deep spiral doesn't have a science ship does it have some research not really Nautilus dunes yeah could have some research soon mm, yes so and Valentina Snowda already has a ship so let's go spaceport science ship and um, maybe somewhere here in the older systems and on cellular maybe cellular prime yeah we've got some research there we'll go for a science ship yes very good We need some young snails trained. An automated dreadnought. Why are you moving through this system, madman? My God. <sighs> At least we can flee now, right? Hmm. And we need new names, in case you didn't know. Also, uh, there's a transport fleet we have here. That will will like some some more stuff here. Ah, spaceport could go. No, we'll we'll send the army. Oh, they are still being built. All right. Uh, then actually, that is a little bit high. Give us more of that. So we are happy. They are constructing like mad here. These guys too. We'll have so many energy credits. We can transform everything. Move forward. Move forward. Assign the leader. General Senzi. And that, that thing gets renamed all the time. So... We'll not do anything else about the name. Five days we can move forward. Ugh. <laughs> this is snail wars, right? <coughs> the hyperlanes. The hyperlanes need, need to be used. There is a fleet of them. The first combat swarm will be defeated. Hopefully, there's also a military station in there. 
That is something really worrying. Well, it doesn't have enough power for the great Nautiloid fleet. And, uh... Actually, we'd want to have more minerals from all of you. In case you didn't know. The central command needs your resources. There are some swarms forming. Let's see. Oh! We have been engaged here. Well, no matter. We have clouds. Deadly clouds. Let's let's do this. Let's let's film this. Wow, look at that. The great Nautiloid fleet. We have to take Photographs. All the snails are getting to their to their snail phones and doing this while they are. Yeah, that, they want to remember that. I mean, the spiritualists for a reason. We like to remember things. There we go. What has happened? Earthquakes on Shell of the Deep Prime? What? Is that a sign of Nautilon? No. It is probably the infected organisms striking back or the flood infestation delta. These hive mines are all under one... I don't know what they are. Blanket? Shell of the Deep Prime has been wrecked by another wave of earthquakes recently. It seems that some of the deeper parts of the underground tunnel network have collapsed without the subterranean aliens to maintain it. Many of our settlements have suffered damage. <gasps> Unfortunate. No! Damaged! Or what? Not good. Not good at all. Let's go back to the... to the great combat we have here. We haven't lost anything yet. Our shells are holding. Defeat the spaceport. We have defeated the spaceport. Defeat of the space station is imminent. The destruction we deliver. It's worth watching. Oh, Gary Feng One has leveled up and gained the trade cautious. Good for him. And so fitting for a snail. Weapons range plus ten percent on the Rommel. <laughs> yeah, he's on the Rommel. So much was to, to be expected, right? There we go. There's another spaceport. Let's engage. Or maybe let's not engage now. Or let's engage. I don't care. We don't care. We will engage. New Neptulus, can you send another cruiser? Not yet. Send more fleets. Wow, uh, what? Ah, okay. There we go. We're nearing the station, the spaceport. Our clouds are working well.
And our shields are going down for some reason. This is very good. Very, very good. Gary's gaining. Gary's gaining all the time. So, Murga system. There's a swarm forming of the Bio Collective. But that swarm is nowhere near what they need to defeat us. And we'll go first to the maybe this one or the Eater Colony. Seems somehow more valuable to us. This is so cold. Yeah, let's actually stay here and bombard. And science ships are ready. This is the research here. And you will. This is the research here. And you will. This is the research here. Is fleet moving through the Dreadnought system? I hope not. No, it is not. Great news, then. Go on to the ETA colony. What will be fine there? There is a lot of armies. Hive defenders, they are called. Shall move here. Come on, enter the orbit. Then see. How are the enemies doing? They are reforming their fleets. Also here, but not really by much. Snails. Snails will take over. Your despicable systems. And purge them from the infection. What? A hostile fleet? Where? Uh, actually here oh, they are moving over to us really I mean really what I'm trying to catch us off guard We'll probably have to wait. We are following the first fleet. Oh, they think the first fleet is the... <laughs> is the relevant one, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's make them believe that. Centralized command. Army upkeep goes down by 10% and a military academy is available. Creating dedicated headquarters for all levels of military operations shapes an efficient fleet and lays a better foundation for future military training. Oh, look at that. Oh, we have a... 
Ah, we have selected lineages. A great gift from Nautilon. A policy. Careful reproductive planning should be incentivized, lest we waste valuable genetic resources. We have to take this. Leader enhancement. It's a policy. Yeah, our leaders will, will be longer lasting then. We'll save up a bit. Ah, we did it. Thankfully. Unite with the first tentacle of Nautilon. Spaceport was ready. 17,000 stored now. Good, good. I don't know. I mean, thankfully, we have the harmony policy, uh, the harmony tradition. There is a little bit of a pacifist movement right now. So now, look at that. We can invade now, I think. General Sen Z attack. Will they follow us? Go, Nautiloids! Show them what we're made of! The expeditionary forces doing what they can to take the planet. Yes! A great war. A great battle. Senzi has won. Taken over our first planet. The Bio Collective. Where is it? Is it here? No, it's it has moved somewhere. It has moved We don't know where. Hmm. Well then. This is a fitting start for the Empire of Nautilon's coming. And will continue that way. The infected organisms, what will they do without their mother hive? Let's see, let's wait a few days. Maybe they are coming. Fourth Fleet. We don't know. I think we should uh, actually... Hmm. Retreat the armies. Back in Transport Fleet 9 now. Move over to the production chamber. And then we'll see. We'll see if they are prepared for a further invasion. Strigoi also have taken over a planet, but it seems like they are not nearly as effective as the Empire of Nautilons coming, of course, under the geniuses that are leading this war. Do we see anything? We're a little bit nervous about this.
Subduction Chamber gets bombarded. Our armies can heal. In very good shape. The Nautiloids are really good warriors, as you can see here. They have good health and morale. The ETA colony. Controlled by the Empire of Nautilon's coming. That was what we've waited for. For such a long time. An opening. Someone likes us now. Who? Everyone, except the Peace and Prosperity League. The Future Front is really happy. Giant Massacre. No, that, that we don't have. And the Glory Initiative is really happy too. <gasps> the Dreadnought again. Move away. Entering Hyperlane in one day. Yeah, come on, on. enter the uh, enter the Hyperlane. Come on, wait. wait what are you waiting for? Ugh. I hope the roots don't despise us. Border frictions are growing, though. Ooh. That is very, very worrying. Ah. Uh. Some of our scholars suggest that the face Empire of Nautilon's coming and the, the Vortex causes are the same one truth, distinguished only by differences in language and interpretation. We hope you will accept our corrections in due time. Hmm. We, now we have something to worry about. Something big. The roots of K feel we have border frictions. Why? We don't know. Because we don't have border frictions, but it seems like they think we have. One next battle. One other chance. One next great move. This is the right way we are on. You have to charm the roots too. How? I have no idea. Habitability minus 5%, food minus 10%, life struggles to survive here. While some clings to a tenacious existence, it is anemic and sickly. Well, we don't get to choose. We get to attack. There we go. <coughs> also, you can keep your your income. Well, at least a little bit of it. There we go. How's the war going? Should be going great, right? There we go. Invasion! Our forces are undefeatable. The morale is high. Our great snail warriors are beating them down. Nice. 
And Zen Z has leveled up. So the question now is where to continue and what to do against the roots of Kahe. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. May Nautilon be with you and behind you and around you with all the Tentec. Uh, yeah, you get you get that. You get the point. We'll also have to choose an, a next system, probably Nautilon's grandchildren again, claiming the Ragani, that, that great planet with a lot of slaves. And uh, an Iron Fist guy will be put into charge there. Oh, exciting war times, exciting influence. Well, see you, see you soon.